Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of what looks like uh, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. Currently have U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Dow's off 129. S&P is off 17. NASDAQ 103. The Russell's down four. If you uh, caught the uh, show earlier, it does look like uh, the uh, uh, ES Mini, at least, is trying to form a bottom between its uh, two-hour and its 60-minute time frame chart that's got those nice TD nine-count bottom patterns and the Apogee pivot point has held out there. Uh, you can always watch the rerun of that show um, if you didn't catch that. But uh, in the meantime, let's go take a look at what uh, is going on with regard to a number of different instruments. So we'll begin by taking a look at the upper left-hand panel, the ES Mini. On the daily time frame, price yesterday closed back below its daily profile, needs to get back above it, which is at 3693. You're trading at 36. 664 right now. It's got that valid roads momentum indicator bottom pattern out here. Um, uh, so it's got a nice bottom, as does the NQ, as does the uh, Dow, all three of them with the same patterns out here. Now, the Dow equity future contract actually did form a new profile yesterday. So that profile level, we talked about that yesterday, the support area is at 29. 994 and resistance at 3877. It's only one of the four equity future contracts that did generate that new profile level. High grade copper is really consolidating between breakout support. Breakout support is priced at three dollars and twenty six cents, and breakdown resistance three dollars and fifty five cents. The gold contract. It's going against, it's testing a prior Rose Mentum indicator bottom. That's back here around the 26th or so. And it's going to yesterday formed a TD nine count bottom in this current move lower. That pattern will be completed today. You can get another Roseman to indicator bottom signal. All that's great, but price, buyers have got to take out resistance. That means getting back above 1645.50, the bottom of that daily profile, getting above its oscillator and change on it. Quite frankly, gold's not going to get on its merry way until it closes above 1707.40. Silver out here, just consolidating with inside its daily profile between 1823 and 1926. If you look at light sweet crude, light sweet crude doing what? Really trading between. Um, I don't know what Light Sweet Crude is doing, quite frankly. It's just really consolidating with inside its daily profile. Natural gas looks ugly, ugly fuggly out there. 572 is the next CD9 count breakout level. You're at 557 right now. So that's not holding price. 30 year Treasury needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm some type of at least counter trend move to the upside. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next with the morning market kickoff. Have a fantastic Friday. I'll see you on Monday, 11 o'clock sharp. Take care.